And AAA is here, and he's trying to do the best that he can. So after packing everything up, I turn off the generator. The generator was running the whole night with no problem. Um, and then I wake up and I turn off the generator because my mechanic told me that I, you know, as long as the generator is working, it's going to be charging the batteries, which not only he has told me that, so it has to be some sort of truth to that. However, when I get up in the morning, I'm thinking my battery is going to be fully charged then because I didn't have the generator running all night, you know, and I got two new batteries and I wake up and it's like the car charger, things are working inside of the car, but the car won't start up. Um, the car won't start up. Something is draining something. And I don't want to be like trying to jump a battery all the time. And then the generator was working all of a sudden. It's not even turning over again. So I don't know. These are the trials and tribulations. But I called my daughter on the phone, my oldest daughter. And she was just like, it could be something small. Don't overreact. Let's just see what happens. And I'm just like, oh my God, I don't want to end up having to live in a damn van. So apparently the AAA guy says that the cords were a little bit loose on the battery. So he's going to tighten it up and see if that worked. Try to rank it up again, like start it up again. Nothing. So he's doing something else right now. <sighs> Honestly, to be honest with you, I have more faith in the Lord. So like I said, besides the fact that <laughs> we almost got robbed today, it was crazy as hell. Um, um, everything after that went pretty smooth. Besides the fact that we still got to get two new batteries, but we went ahead and cranked it right up. And me and Victor went ahead and took the bus <laughs> to, uh, we took the bus to the gas station, and then I was just meeting me and some cool people along the way, actually. I met some van dwellers. I'll talk about that in another video. I met some van dwellers that was really cool, too, the other day. Um, but anyways, uh, me and me and this cool guy at the gas station, he was wondering, like, oh, uh, for barbecue. Some about a barbecue. <laughs> yeah, para matar algo también. Please, pork things. Oh, my God. But anyways, um, yeah. So he was like, "Oh yeah, what year is your your RV?" Da, da, da. Asking us all these questions, he was like so surprised and stuff, and he loved it. So I ran out of space, y'all. But anyways, on my phone, so I had to delete some things. Yeah. So um, it's like, yeah, what year is your your RV and all stuff? So he's like super surprised. But it was cool. Uh, that was like really cool ultimately and so we put a hundred dollars in gas that's where i was leaving off at so we put a hundred dollars in gas and the gas is right now at three dollars and fifteen cents so we put a hundred dollars in gas and we got like half a tank we have a 75 gallon uh gas tank so we got like half of it done for 100 bucks so with the gas prices like this if it stays like this or a little bit lower than that then we'll be around like the 200 range as far as filling up my hair look like a hot mess i'm not done with it yeah i'm finished braiding it um hopefully i finish today but uh it was a little rough this morning but otherwise than that it's all good um and it was actually kind of fun we drove around the parking lot and uh just like trying to get a feel of it and everything and it's like so easy to drive like i can't wait till i get a cell phone thing you know i'm gonna get a little cell phone holder i used to have a few get a cell phone holder and i'm gonna give you guys a good view of when we're driving and it's like the easiest class a to drive really it's more like you feel like you're driving like a ford 250 really so, anywho, I'm out of here. Just recording some videos, but I really need to get back to doing some things. And, yeah, so, like, somebody tried to open up our door, and then, like, the buzzer thing, like, beat them out. Like, they got scared. And so, he bonked out on his bicycle, yo. And my husband got up, like, yo, 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 motherfucker. He's like, motherfucker, I'll kill you. <laughs> and, like, the person, like, bunked out. So, thank God for the $3 alarms. From Family Dollar, three dollars for the alarm. Three dollars, three dollars could save your life. 
three dollars could save your life so um anywho please get yourself the little baby alarms i'm gonna give you guys a video of it uh clip of it right at the end of here so you guys can see what i'm talking about it, just in case you don't know but these are old school things that's been around for a long time so i'm gonna show you guys thank you guys for tuning in to how i almost got robbed and some updates <laughs> all right stay tuned so you guys can see what alarm i'm talking about all right so this little baby alarm right here if you guys can see this it comes with this little white piece right we comes with a little white piece right here and i know this is really hard to see um and it has a little black button right now it's on and right now it's off so you see that and then it has a little tiny other piece that goes on to the other door and once it closes the magnetic together would stop that alarm from going on so at nighttime you make sure you turn it on get the little switch on make the sound and then you close your door and then the magnetic should stop it so if somebody tries to come inside it's going to automatically go off this is a good safety measure especially if you need to do something cheap and efficient and you're just starting off with rv life like us and we're just learning certain things of course i'm going to get a camera and all of that stuff and but you know just do little safety measures like that because those things you're going to need